Hi guys, this is Sharin. This session is about software development life cycle. We will discuss about the different life cycle models and where testing stands in each of the model. Okay, before getting into different types of software development models, let's understand about the different stages in software development life cycle. It starts with requirement analysis, then design, then coding, then testing, then implementation and the final stage is maintenance. In the first stage, requirement analysis phase, the requirements from the customers are collected, analyzed and documented. During the design stage, business requirement documents and system requirement specification documents are prepared. The solutions for the requirements are decided and the technical details would be captured in high level design documents and detail level design documents. This would be further taken as a base for making the software. During the coding or implementation stage, the software development happens. The next stage is testing. During this stage, the implementation of software against the customer requirements would be tested. The issues identified would be fixed and it moves to the next stage deployment. Here software would be deployed and the end user starts using it. The final stage is maintenance. Usually, support and maintenance would be provided by the companies for a limited time. Okay, we just discussed about the different stages in software development life cycle. Okay, let's see what is software development model and what is the need of following the development models. When we start with a project, it would have an aim, an objective, a goal. So a standard development model needs to be followed for delivering the project successfully. Selection of the development model depends on the aim and goal of the project. If I say some examples, if time to market is the key, then, then testing must be fast and efficient. Another example is, a project with evidence of audit trial is required, then testing must be fully documented. So proper validation and verification is required. Validation is a process of checking specification is captured as per customer's requirement. Whereas verification is a process of checking software is built as per the specification. Okay, now let's start with the different types of software development models. Okay, we will discuss about waterfall model first. Waterfall model is very simple and it's very easy to understand. As its name indicates, the next stage can be now started only after completing the previous stage. Each stage has a set of deliverables. The main disadvantage is, as everyone knows, it's a sequential model. The testing is towards the last phase and finding of defects would be at the last moment and this can be a problem since cost of fixing the defect would be more. Also, if requirement changes at the last point, it's very difficult to go back and make changes in the system. Another issue is, time of resources are wasted as testing happens only in the last. We discussed about the principles of software testing earlier and one of the principles is early testing. Since testing happens in this model in the last moment, it's against the principles of testing. This model is well suited for projects where requirements are very well known, clear and fixed. Also wherever more documentations are required, this model can be selected. Since testing is towards the last stage and there are no activities happening in the initial stages, Another model came into picture, which is V model. We will discuss about V model now. As its name indicates, V model is verification and validation model. Here, each development activity has a corresponding testing activity. When business requirement specification document is prepared from development side, acceptance test plan and test cases for acceptance testing would be prepared from testing side. Similarly, when SRS or system requirement specification document is prepared from development side, System test plan and test case for system testing would be prepared from testing side. When HLD or high level design document is prepared from development side, integration test plan and test cases for integration testing would be done from testing side. Likewise, detailed level design document is prepared from development side. Component test plan and test cases for component testing would be prepared from testing side. So each of the development activity has a corresponding testing activity as well. The resources are fully utilized here. The main disadvantage is as customers are not given with any prototypes, they may come back and ask for a change at a later point of time which would be difficult. 
or if any change happens in the midway this document and requirement documents needs to be updated and that could be incorporated in the code as well which may be difficult this model is suited for small to medium sized projects where requirements are very clear and if the project wants to fully utilize the resources okay we have seen two models waterfall model and b model now let's get into the next model iterative or incremental model we discussed about different stages right here delivery is divided into multiple release and each release has design coding implementation and testing rapid application development and agile comes under this model scrum is a process in agile this is a good model as small part of the project is shown to the customer and instant feedback is getting from the customer so if customer wants something differently it can be incorporated into the system very easily this iteration would be continued until the project is completely delivered to the customer to summarize we have see software development life cycle what is software development model and what is the role of testing in each of the model and what are the different types of development models hope this video helps you if this video helps you please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel please keep an eye on my other testing videos that's all folks this is sharing signing off thank you